All right, so what we have right here, this is a Cummins ISX engine. And if you guys want, you can come step up here and you can kind of take a look and see what we got going on here with this engine. This is a dual overhead cam engine. So it has two camshafts in it. One camshaft is controlling these rocker arms that have intake exhaust and the engine brake. Over here, this is the older ISXs, so they still have a mechanical injector. So you have one camshaft that is just for the injector. If you get an ISX that's over 2015 or 16, they went away from this and they went into a, a high pressure common route, which means that they completely eliminated this camshaft and these rockets don't exist on those newer engines. But on this one, it does have it. So what we see right here is you'll notice that there's a lot of play in this brake rock arm, right? And that's because that it, it sits on a detent that keeps it from hitting the cam load. What happens is when the solenoid right here opens, it lets oil flow through these shafts. Now, you got two solenoids, so this is one of the engines that was set up for a high brake even when both solenoids would be allowing oil to flow, or low brake even when only one would be allowing oil to flow. So when these open and allow oil flow, it knocks this thing off of its detent and it starts hitting the cam load. And that thing is timed to open that exhaust valve right at the top of the compression strip. So if the driver said, man, I got my brakes turned on, I got them set, but they're not working, the first thing I would do is plug in the electrical tool that helps you troubleshoot this without taking the valve cover off. The second thing I would do, just because it's fun, is take the valve cover off and you don't worry about it. All right. So uh, let's do this. Uh, who wants to test it for me? So go over there on the other side, watch your fingers. I need someone to start it up for me. All right, so what you're going to do once he starts it up is right here on top of the cylinder, there's a button. You're going to take that screwdriver and push that button down. All right, start it. Shooting. Uh, we'll put bugs in it. Um, 
once you start learning a specific engine, like this guy is an engine that I had in most of my fleet. I had a 375 tractors. This was in most of them. And I learned how easy it was to troubleshoot these guys because each one of these is an individual circuit. So if it goes bad, I'm going to have a different fault code for each one of them. And then if I want to determine if the fault is in the harness or if the fault is in the solenoid, all I need to do is take two of them off and do what? Right? If the fault code changes, it falls with the solenoid. If the fault code stayed the same, it was the wiring So little tricks like that all the time. But looking forward to having you guys next week. Hopefully we'll get some more people. What are you doing with that? Your car's way too small for it. What are we supposed to do after the demo? Well, you're going to be your own person. Yeah, yeah.